If there was one main takeaway from last week's release of court filings from Dominion Voting Systems lawsuit against Fox News, it's that many of the hosts on that network are conscious and remorseless liars. Shocking, I know. Remember, Fox's own lawyers have argued that you should not believe the words coming out of the mouth of their top-rated primetime host, Tucker Carlson. So it ought to concern you that, as we learned today, nominal House Speaker Kevin McCarthy has decided to give Tucker exclusive access to more than 40,000 hours of Capitol surveillance footage from the January 6th insurrection. This is Kevin fulfilling a promise that he made to the extreme far-right members of his caucus who demanded the footage as a condition of eventually supporting him for speaker, 15 votes in. And beyond the quizzling nature of the gift to the far-right, let's, let's not forget that the person who now has exclusive access to this footage has described January 6th this way. Of all the things that January 6th was, it was definitely not a violent terrorist attack. It wasn't an insurrection. An outbreak of mob violence, a forgettably minor outbreak by recent standards. You see people walking around and taking pictures. They don't look like terrorists, they look like tourists. And if you think Tucker and his team will use this content honestly, well, we have a bridge to sell you. It's in Brooklyn, it's beautiful. But there is a bigger issue here. The Justice Department and Capitol Police had previously pushed back on the release of this footage as a security risk, as it would include things like where safe rooms and security cameras are located. Now, we don't know what Tucker will choose to show, but we do know who will be watching. So giving him, of all people, free reign over such footage cannot be in America's best interests. Joining me now is Congressman Jamie Raskin of Maryland, who was a member of the January 6th Select Committee. Congressman, thank you for being here. I mean, I, I will go on. This is a man who made an entire documentary called Patriot Purge, in which he alleged that January 6th was a false flag. He, it was, it's been called deranged by Rolling Stone. Um, it's, it's pushed baseless conspiracy theories, this thing that he created. Off the rails, NPR has called it. The only expectation I can have is that he's going to use this footage, comb through it, and create some sort of alternate narrative January 6th. Can you talk about you, as somebody who was on the January 6th committee, how do you feel about that, and what do you fear based on what he's going to do? Well, Joy, thank you. Of course, um, we spent a year and a half studying this, and we found no evidence of Antifa's involvement at all, no evidence of this being a false flag operation. But even if you're uh, paranoid and watching Fox News all day, you don't have to believe us. Just believe what Kevin McCarthy said on January 6th himself to Donald Trump when Donald Trump tried to float that to Kevin McCarthy when he called him desperate, saying, call off the dogs. And uh, Trump told him, oh, these aren't our people. This is Antifa. And McCarthy said, no, they're right here in my office. These are your people, Mr. President. And that prompted uh, the reply from Trump to the effect of, well, maybe they just care a little bit more about a stolen election than you do, Kevin. Look, all of this is not in search of the truth with Kevin McCarthy or with Tucker Carlson. It's in search of a conspiracy theory. It's in search of corroborating disinformation and propaganda. And we know that from his three-part uh, miniseries that he put together, Patriot Purge, which asserted that it was a false flag operation run by Antifa and the FBI. But we found no evidence of that our bipartisan committee that operated for more than a year and a half. So really what it demonstrates is the absolute stranglehold that the MAGA right, that Marjorie Taylor Greene and Matt Gates are exercising over Kevin McCarthy now as they work overtime to try to put Donald Trump back in office. Well, they, they've also said, people like Paul Gosar and Marjorie Taylor Greene, that the purpose of having this footage that they're celebrating is that they want to help clear people who are charged with crimes for having broken into the Capitol. They've all tweeted something to that effect, Gosar, Gates, and Greene. Is there, is, is, are we in danger of not just that, of people, of them trying to twist this footage, cut little pieces of it that they think will help criminals get out of jail or get out of trouble. But also, I'm concerned that these are the people that the Russians listen to, including yeah. Tucker, that he can put on something that is false, not real, but that is very useful to our enemies, including knowing where the security cameras are on Capitol Hill. Well, look, Tucker Carlson is a pro-Putin, pro-Orban, pro-autocrat 
propagandists. So while we've got the president of the United States over in Ukraine expressing solidarity with the forces of democratic freedom, Kevin McCarthy is releasing these tapes to one network, not making it public for everybody, not giving it to CNN and MSNBC and the New York Times Washington Post, giving it to Fox News and to Tucker Carlson so he can forward his propaganda theories. And as you say, this is a serious security risk. I mean, the reason, you know, there's thousands of hours of footage that are out there already, but the reason all of it wasn't released is precisely because it lays out floor design, it lays out evacuation routes, it lays out where the vice president went, it lays out where the senior members of Congress were evacuated and so on. So I hope that Kevin McCarthy at least has planned for that. But at this point, since he's made it available to one network, he may as well make it available to all networks because we know, as you suggest, they're going to be cherry picking it in order to, you know, corroborate uh, however they can their absurd conspiracy theories embodied in the Patriot Purge series. One can only hope that all of the networks, including this one, will insist that everyone get it. Because I've never heard of one network getting exclusive access to what is essentially government information. If Yeah, if you're going to give it out, give it to everyone. But it, it concerns I mean, that me. really is out of Putin's playbook. You, you pick it is. your oh, propaganda absolutely. mouthpiece and you give it to them. Yeah, uh, it, right out of Putin's playbook. Uh, Congressman Jamie Raskin, thank you. Thank you very much. Happy President's Day. Thank you. For you being